Los Ruiz with WBA and ABA Super Featherweight Champ Carlos of Solution Morales here in Highland Park at Rick Rocks Tattoo Parlor. Carlos, congratulations on winning your first title. And you're here with your kids. How's everything going? Everything's going well. Uh, just uh, trying to let Highland Park know that there's a champion here in town, so that's where we're here. This is where you grew up. This is where you went to school. Uh, what's been the turnout here for this event today? It's, it's turned out pretty good. We got a few people that came by get some some stuff signed, and you know, just hanging out here just to see how many more people are coming. And you're here with your two kids. How old are your kids? And uh, if you can uh, go sure. ahead and tell them what their names are. This is uh, Carlos. Morales Jr., also known as Jaden, and this is my little girl, Aubrey, Jaden Morales. You currently rank number 15 for the WBA Super Featherweight World Title. Um, who are some of the opponents for the WBA that you would like to face in the near future? You have Ushiyama, Brian Vasquez, Nicholas Walters at the top three contenders. Well, you know, anybody that Goldenberg puts me against, uh, you know, I have... I can't... Uh, I'm not going to choose an opponent, I let them do the, the choosing for me, I just do the fighting. You know, they tell me you're going to fight this guy and I go and I fight him. Jason Sosa defeated Javier Fortuna for the WBA title. Israel Corrales beat uh, Uchiyama for the WBA title as well. What do you think of those two current world champions? Uh, they're good fighters, I see them fight. Uh, I see Israel Corrales pull up the upset. Uh, you know, just like I said before, you know, I, I get ready for a fight and then I let the promoters and the matchmakers do do the matchmaking and then, you know, I just focus on, on fighting. Describe the feeling when you first held the world, uh, the title, in the, by defeating Luis Franco on August 5th. You know, I, it was an amazing experience because, you know, I never, I never thought I was going to be fighting for for NBA title and I was going to rank number 15 in, in the world so you know I was happy that you know all the hard work that I've been doing throughout this uh, training professional it's finally you know playing a, a big role in, in, in the boxing team. Would you be fighting before the year ends? Uh, yeah I'll be fighting uh, I'm saying probably December uh, first week of December not sure yet but most likely it's going to be in December. Could we see Carlos a Solution Morales, let's say, at a bigger venue once you graduate from fighting at Velasco Theater? You know, that's the plan. So, you know, they, I have to uh, do one more fight at the uh, Velasco and then I'll be moving up to better and bigger things. What would you like to say to the people in Tulancingo, Mexico, that are following your careers? If you want to say any words in Spanish, go ahead. Gracias a todos por el apoyo que me dan. Carlos Morales está aquí para quedarse y no voy a parar hasta ser campeón mundial. Y gracias por apoyarme. You want to talk a little bit about your merchandise right here? Uh, we got some, some shirts here. Say Carlos Morales, pretty old school stuff. This is a shirt that we used in the, the Luis Franco fight. Okay. Uh, you know, just in California, the theme, and it says Carlos Morales on the bottom. And then uh, we have a, a shirt that my manager designed was the Five Hard Stay Humble shirt. Okay. Who this, who was whose logo is that? Who's, whose oh, picture is that? Well, it's my picture before before uh, one of my fights. I think it was against Mark in February. So you know, he took that picture and created his own logo on it. So it was okay. good. And the hats? How do fight fans uh, get your hats? Uh, they could purchase them on uh, at the gym, right at the gym. That's where we have them. Right the article on the Boulevard Sentinel newspaper. What was that like? On the the front cover of uh, the, you know, the Boulevard Sentinel you know, newspaper. When when I got the, the the news that you know that they were gonna put me in the paper, I didn't I didn't think I was gonna be on the cover. So when I got the paper and then I, I saw my picture in the in the cover, I was like, oh wow, you know, guy just did a good job. You know, she put me in the, in the cover. So. And one of your uh, CM Boxing Stables uh, partners. Uh, Gladys Sanchez, she was the one that wrote the article. Yeah, she's she's the guy, she's the girl in charge of the, the PR for, for, for the boxing gym and for my careers. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos the Solution Morales here at Rick Rocks Tattoo Parlor in Highland uh, Park. If you guys want to come by and, and say hi to him, come meet him. Here he is. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you.